You know, most of us are very insecure people. It takes the Holy Spirit of God living in us as believers to convince us we are loved and secure in the family of God. Paul tells us this in Romans 8, 16 and 17, quote, The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, heirs also, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified with him. Now the key phrase here is, bears witness with. In the records of business dealings in the Roman world, a witness to a business or legal document would sign his name with the words, I bear witness with and I seal with, right by his signature. This means that the Spirit's indwelling presence is God's signature and seal, his personal endorsement and witness that we are indeed children of God. In a mysterious but wonderful way, the Holy Spirit of God affixes God's signature on my spirit, saying, I bear witness with Dorman's spirit that Dorman Followell is a child of God. If the Holy Spirit dwells in you, the stamp and seal of God's approval of you as His child rests on your spirit for all eternity, and you can insert your name here. Thus, the Spirit of God is Himself our security, our personal guarantor of our position in the family of God. He Himself is the key to our eternal security in the family of God. But there is a deeper relational truth that undergirds the legal truth of the Spirit's witness of our adoption. Paul includes a layer of real intimacy between the indwelling Spirit of God and our human spirit. Paul says the Holy Spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. In other words, this witness of the Spirit is not just some cold stamp put on by some spiritual notary public. Now, the witness of the Spirit is a deep communication of our sonship in God's family, a constant whisper of our position of value and honor as beloved sons of our Father. And there is another even deeper truth here. Not only is the Spirit the guarantor of our eternal security, but the very suffering that we endure as believers suffering that sometimes makes us doubt our security, is actually part of what it means to be secure in the family of God. We are fellow heirs with Christ, if indeed we suffer with Him. So it is the presence of the Holy Spirit as a seal of our security and the reality of our suffering that tells us, beyond all doubt, we are safe and secure as sons in the family of God. What a great mystery and a greater comfort and security.